needed. So we're going to start that. So <laughs> there. Yeah, buddy. Um, what's up, guys? Welcome to episode 39 of the Unlaced Podcast. Damn, 39. Right? I am your host. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, ooh. look at me trying to take credit. I'm sorry. This is my host, Gabe. I am the co-host. I'm your co-host, Chris. Hello. Um, thank you guys for joining us. If you guys are listening to us today, thank you again so much for listening. Um, if you guys want to listen to us um, while watching us, you can listen to us on all uh, streaming platforms, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, or Anchor. Thank you guys so much for all the support who have listened and all the future listeners. If you like to watch your podcast and if you want to watch more of us, uh, you can check us out on YouTube. Just type in on Lace. We are on YouTube. Our link is in all of our social media bios. Um, with those social medias, they are Unlaced X Podcast and Unlaced X Threads. Um, as you can see, uh, we are wearing our postcard tee. Uh, first appearance, first appearance on the show. You know. Yeah, thank. Welcome to the welcome to the show, postcard. Welcome to the show, postcard. Um, I I'm wearing our We Got Soul sweater. Um, I don't. I didn't check how many. Do we have any more of these? Uh, I think we do. Website we have. Small size, right? Small, medium, large, or medium, large, XL. One of those three. Yeah. Well, if you want to check this out, if you want this yeah. hoodie or... Um, we don't have that. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah sorry. sorry no, go, that's too yeah. bad. But if you would like to check this out, you can definitely go to unlaced.family. We also have our Shock Drop uh, collection that dropped uh, two weeks ago now. Uh, three weeks so, ago. Yeah, three three weeks ago. like a month, bro. Yeah, because yeah, it was before we went to uh, yeah, Agenda. Yeah. yeah, so like three weeks ago three and a half four yeah um you can check that out we still have uh sizes and a few items uh sure. please uh, a lot of it is dwindling down so get it before you can unlace.family hit the shop you know you'll see everything there check it out um if you didn't see what what we had and you want to see it before you go to the website you can look at this pat the last ep- last week's episode uh we showed you our friends and family um oh. and we showed we sh- yeah we showed you the friends and family yeah. Uh, you can see the shock drop long sleeve yeah. as well. It's starting to get gloomy, so hey, get that long sleeve oh, going. True. We didn't even. Sh- we didn't. I just remember that day we didn't bring. I didn't yeah. bring like, the hat. Yeah. Oh, I didn't bring the shorts. Yeah. Yeah, that's my bad. Y'all. Next for episode forty, we got. I'll just wear them next time. Yeah, yeah there you go. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so uh, thank you guys again for all the support. Please, if you guys are listening, please get this. Uh, this podcast five stars that would help if you guys are watching please like and comment uh, below. Let us know what your favorite shoe is. Did you hit? On the uh, on the the tour yellow fours. Don't even ask me. Mm. Yeah, I got what I wanted. That's all I care about. I got what I wanted. I'm good. All right, I got my Prestos. That's all I wanted. And they sat. And everybody was talking. Oh, these is hard. See, this is what I don't like about social media. Everybody's like, oh, these are hard. These are hard. So I'm thinking like, yo, I'm not going to get a chance to get them. I don't have to like really, uh, you know. What's it working? Just it was there. Just. But they came out the same day as the fours, right? Nah, the day, day before. The day before, before yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, came out Friday, yeah. So it was like, I'm thinking like, oh, it's going to be hard. I'm going to have a tough. People trying to save their money. That's what it was, bro. Yeah, I, I figured. But then I thought like, yo, they're going to they're gonna scoop those up when they can get the fours. And they still have, they're still up there? They're still there. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. Well, <laughs> the the big sizes are. So the extra larges and the, the double XL, oh, I think. I've never are. bought a press, though. Yeah. What size? A large? Medium. A medium? It's a not, medium is 9 through 11. I almost ordered large thinking like, you know, of course, you know, large. What the f- Yeah. So medium medium is 9 through 11, and then extra large is 11 through 13, and then that double XL is 13 through, I think, you 15. You large, bro. Huh? You skipped large. Oh, you said it was medium is this and extra large. Oh, no. So, oh, so it's up to extra large. Sorry. Medium is 9 to 11. Uh, large is 11 to 13, and then extra large is um, 13 oh, to 15. That's so- yeah, I almost bought a large like when I was trying to because I was I got in. I'm like, oh, I got in. All right, cool. Let me let me make my my purchase quick before somebody screws up. And I, I was like, wait, I need the chart. I'm like, oh fuck, I'm gonna lose these trying to find my chart and figure out what I. So if you were a nine, and I were an eleven, we hmm. could wear the same one. Yeah. Theoretically. Theoretically, I don't know. I, I have never. Because usually when I get pretzels, and this is why it's weird to me, and I'm, I'm a little, because I, I get them tomorrow. So we're shooting this on a Monday or a Tuesday. Yep. I get them on Wednesday, mm-hmm. uh, tomorrow. I've never bought a Presto where I had to say medium, extra large. Or I've always said my size. Like at a store? Yeah, and so on the box it says the size. And in the, the tag it says the size. So I'm scared that if I did get a medium oh, and it's yeah. not a medium, okay. like. Because 
press those words like that. Though. Yeah, they yeah, yeah that was right? yeah, and yeah. so I think that's what they were doing because yeah. it's the 20th anniversary oh, okay, release. So okay. I think that that's what they were doing. Oh, that Maybe unless that's just you know or unless that they come sense, back so to that. It's a pretty cool thing yeah, to do it that way. yeah. So I'm hoping that that's the the case. If it's not, I'm gonna be highly upset that I'm. But I mean, either way, season, bro, so you can yeah, I could just go. Return. Return. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so I thought I was gonna have to like you know I was gonna have to fight people for them and no. They actually, I, if I even would have waited, I could have gotten for less than retail. I mean, you still can. On GOAT, they're, they're, I think, because their retail is 130 on GOAT right now. They're going for, I think, 110 or 115 Damn. Yeah. It's all good, bro. Yeah. It's all good. Save 20 bucks, but whatever. Don't matter. It's all good, bro. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. So, uh, speaking of shoes, uh, let's get to what we are wearing today. Um, Gabe, do you want to start us off? Damn. All right. So, I got these blazers right here. Yep. Um. This is a 77 retro. I don't really remember the colorway, but I really love that it's a tonal shoe. Mm. I guess you can kind of see it. Yeah. It's just all one color with the gum bottoms. That's my thing. I like that. Um, and I, I caught these on sale, I believe, on Nike. So it's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, I do sale pickups. Oh, yeah. And uh, I will say that for my first blazer, they're kind of narrow. Mm hmm. Um, so if I buy more, which I do plan on, I'm going to size up. Half, half size, size up? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so half size up if y'all have never bought a 77 Retro. Yeah, so I want, because I want to get the, um, the little, the plant inspired ones, the little nature ones that they've oh, been doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want, I, now that, now that you tell me that's good, because then I'm going to have to just go yeah, to 11. Yeah, because it's kind of up here in this, this toe box area. Mm -hmm. Even if you wear them loose, it doesn't really open up here. Oh, so. It's like, okay. it's stitched like pretty, like, you, you yeah, see? Yeah, yeah, it's all the way down it's to the toe, yeah. It's stitched up, up top, so it doesn't. It doesn't really no open give. Up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, well um, I am wearing. Uh, so you guys, because I, I can't cross my legs. Bro. I'm not. I'm not flexible. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm wearing the B True uh, Nike Air Max uh, Pre Days. Love this shoe. And they dropped a. Co they dropped like four colorways okay. since. And yeah, the it's olive green ones. I need to Pre Day. Yeah. Okay. So I need to. I need to. I need to get these. Uh, this is the B True. Um, they dropped with their B True collection. Um, so it has like you know like the little um the uh the L lgbtq uh flag right here i know y'all can't see this but yeah. chris chris still has his uh little plastic wire on oh shit i sure do <laughs> i don't i don't even know oh shit what was on this oh the back so on so with this shoe so if you i you guys probably won't be able to tell but on right here is like velcro so oh. they came with a, a little bag of flags and so it was all the different flags in the LGBTQ community. So oh, it was like, see. you know, the homosexual flag. Um, the I didn't know there was a. I'm not gonna sound uneducated right now. Oh no no yeah. On, on our no I, no you know what the crazy thing is? It comes with the um it comes with the uh I with a card. One flag for all. No oh, no it comes with a card and it literally has all the card it like every flag that it comes with it tells you what it was for. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's really it was really dope. It was well thought out. Um I really liked it. Um, it come yeah, so you can like literally. I think it's like seven flags that it comes with, and whichever one that you you know either you you, you, didn't, you didn't feel like any of them were spoke to you or. So usually I would with, just I would just you? I would just use I would just use the 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 gay pride flag honestly on like that was that was what I was gonna go with but I always forget because I have I have them in uh they're always under this um, shoe okay, so I always okay. forgot so I was going through them and then I went through the card and then just yeah. But like usually it'll because like when you see it like if you have, when I when when I do put on, yeah. it doesn't seem like it will stick, even okay. though it does stick and it's fine. It just it's, it's so like, like, it's like a bigger one yeah maybe. it's like it's like puffed out so I feel like it'll catch on to anything yeah, if you right yeah on. so um but yeah it's really dope um I really liked it um I, re I really like the the source on it but yeah um dope shoe I'm getting more colorways because this shoe is actually really fire but I also Amen. really like this I thought this was another shoe that I thought was gonna get scooped up really quickly. Mm -hmm. And it didn't happen. Absolutely, I know. I just want to point out real quick that uh, if anyone is watching and they want to comment, yo, why is Gabe yawning? Mind your business, all right? Mm. Mm. Mind your business. Mm. Your man just took out a 120-question uh, test. I couldn't imagine doing 120 lie, questions. I fell asleep while taking that test. <laughs> I, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so, so, so I was taking the test at home, right? I was sitting down mm. and like at the table. And like I started my head like drop, right? I felt it. 
Oh, you, yeah, you felt you. And I'm like, man, this shit is mm-hmm. timed. Like, I got to get through it. Man. So then I was like, I'm going to go lay down. Like, I'm going to lay down, put the laptop on my chest, you know, like on my stomach. And I'm going to do the test because at least that way I don't have to carry my heavy ass head. Yeah. And, you know, I can do the test. Man, I woke up like 20 minutes later. It says your test ends in 10 minutes. I was just clicking, bro. Clicking. And I still passed, but I was clicking. You should have seen me. Yeah, mm-hmm. so mind your business. Hey. Pass the test. That's all that hey. matters. That's all that matters. We we, we, we strive for greatness here yep. at mm-hmm. Unlace, you know, just, just so you guys know. <laughs> Bare minimums on the, on the academic Bare minimums. Side. As long as we pass. Yeah, as yeah, long as we that's pass. It, that's it. Um, but, yeah, so um, thank you guys for joining us. Um, we are here. Um getting i guess we can jump in right into it um so last week we had give you guys gave you guys an update on uh nike with their trademark uh the trademark uh filing for trademarks on the jordan one silhouette and the jordan one low silhouette yeah um and so we told you we would come to you when you know an update came we didn't want to talk about it just for all willy-nilly and this past week an update came um so uh the first person to get you know sniped through nike's crosshairs wasn't even for jordan one funny thing enough um john geiger uh john geiger got got clipped uh yeah. he is rightfully so by the way yeah yeah, yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Definitely. um got clipped uh for a uh what is, uh gf01 gf01 yeah. uh what is a uh, Geiger Force one? Oh, oh yeah, is that what it is? yeah, I think that's what it is. Oh, I, I, I would is hope it that that's GF, what. Or is, it, or is it just like the? It's it's, it's so like on the like where they would have oh, the AF one. GF. It was GF, yeah. Dang. So, uh, for GF01. for a guy uh, for a Geiger Force one, um, that was po- um that he was doing uh, it falls under the Nike trademark for the Air Force one, which they do already have, uh, trademarked and was already. <laughs> There, which I don't understand how he got this far because most of his last releases were all those. Um, but either way, uh, he was he was um, the viewers are like, All right, Gabe, yeah, yeah, they, they're ready for your takeoff, but yeah, so I'm gonna read the article so y'all can understand. Um, he did make a statement, yeah, um, as well. So I will give you guys all that. Uh, let's I don't want to go through all, all of it, but yeah, so uh, Nike has been bringing the hammer down on designers and customers with the lawsuits and swoosh is taking designer john geiger to court over his gf01 sneaker in a post in his instagram geiger had posted a statement of how nike has been taking and benefiting from the customizer and bespoke sneaker community and is prepared to fight the lawsuit geiger was the was at the forefront of the bespoke sneaker customization that started a few years ago with his misplaced checks nike uh air force one custom and also contributed to the designer process of the Nike Zoom Revis, which dropped in 2012. Uh, let me find the next, next, next line. Uh, he, oh, whoops. Okay. John Geiger was a part of that? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that was where he got like a lot of his, you know. Um, so then uh, it continues. He also states that the Geiger Force One was inspired by Nike Air Force One Low, but has its own trademarks, uses high-end designer quality materials, and has made enough changes to the sneaker. Geiger states that he will be transparent transparent and vocal about what happens with the lawsuit uh so throwing shots nike don't hey nike stop using cheap material let's that, that that's all you need to do that's just stop really using cheap was, material you know um uh okay and so then it goes question here's his statement uh here's the the full statement that he had made uh first and foremost uh uh, blah, 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 blah. I don't want to read. I don't want relearning how to read everyone. Well, no, because I don't want to reread it. Yeah. But whether, well, whatever. Oh, just reread it. Uh, first and foremost, I feel like Nike has been taking and taking inspiration and benefiting off the hard work from myself and a lot of creators with the community over the past ten years. <laughs> I've remained quiet and have never spoken publicly because everyone within the state community has spoke for me out or fo- spoke for me. But now Nike wants to use what is that word? What? Meritless. Okay, sorry. This is very small font. I'm just letting y'all know. Don't. Hey, we're not doing that. iPhone. Pinch the zoom, dog. Well, because it's in within. It's because the I the thing is within its own thing, so it's hard to yeah. Meritless claims and attacks me as an entrepreneur, being a designer who's built by non by namesake brand from the ground up the right way. I'm already built for the ups and downs and all the hate and scrutiny that comes with it. I'm preparing to fight this battle for all creators and underdogs fighting. 
the same uphill battle as me. I've been very clear throughout the two years of developing and selling the Geiger Force One that this silhouette was inspired by Nike and also made sure that anyone purchasing the shoe is aware it is a designer shoe crafted, uh, crafted with higher end materials and quality, along with my trademark and changes to the silhouette. Also created my own mold for our outsoles with branded G, uh, JG trademark and changed the pattern multiple times, all while following trade dress guidelines. I'll be very, uh, very, very vocal and open about what happens from here on out. Um, and so then here is a screenshot of the uh, of the United States District Court, Central District of California, uh, Nike versus La La Land Production and Designer and John Geiger con uh, Collection LLC. Uh, it is for direct uh, trademark infringement, uh, direct design of origin, direct trademark dilution, dilution, yeah. Un unfair competition in, okay, it's cut off. I can't read the rest of that. Unfair competition in violation. I'm hoping that's what that says. Okay. Uh, direct law trademark infringement, unfair competition. Okay. Uh, demand for jury trial. So. Um, yeah, so I'll start, I'll let you start this off, Gabe. Um, go ahead and, uh, talk your shit. I mean, I ain't talking no shit. All right, this is just factual things that are right in front of us. Okay. Um, but I don't, man, I just like, like, I'll start off with where he's coming from. Present day. Yeah. Um. And it sounds like he's really banking in on this, like, idea of transparency yeah. with him and his consumers. Um, and, like, I really like how he tries to establish, like, that Nike steals and this is yeah. that. When his most current shoe right now released was a linen, mm -hmm. which is, come on, man, it's the Air Force. The Air Force colorway, probably one of the most notable ones ever. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, if you just look at the shoe, if we strictly talk about the shoe, remove our bias from how we feel about him and Nike and whatever, mm. like, bro, you're, you're not, you're not going to tell me anything that can change my mind when I look at your shoe and I think Air Force One. Yeah. Like, there's mm. nothing about your shoe that is distinct enough. To call it original, in my opinion, yeah. visually. No, yeah. Visually, um, like okay, so then he he goes into like talking about subtle adjustments and changes mm -hmm. and trying to stay within dress code. Yeah. And if that's how he feels, and this is what we have in terms of a final product, it looks like he tried to be at the fifty-one percent. Yeah. You know, like just barely. Just barely, yeah. And if you, <clears throat> if you look like at all the major like distinctions of the Air Force One and his shoe, they're all still there. All same, all similar. But they're all still there. Um, I didn't get a chance to look at the outsole. I mean, I see the, the sole itself looks very light. It's I, uh, so he'll um, he'll like uh, uh, one. So one of them they show on the they show the high volt. Uh, yeah. The high volt. Let me pull up for you so you can see. Uh, you'll see it. He does he does his logo as the. on the bottom yeah okay yeah okay i get i mean i see what he was trying to do yeah um and i don't know if that's for all of them but i've i've seen three pair that have that same uh okay. that have that same bottom yeah so yeah i don't i mean like i said i, I just i really think that he's trying to streamline that 51 percent bare minimum he really really <laughs> he really wants to maintain the the lore of being oh yeah of course being an air force yeah one. To, to help with sales and stuff. Yeah. And, I mean, don't, in my opinion, I just don't like when anyone, not even, like, aside from Geiger, mm -hmm. you know, hypes themselves up, themselves up as an originator, as, uh, you know, someone who created something from the ground up when, point blank, it's not. Um, so, yeah, man, like, not trying to really, like, bring down and, and talk my talk. No, yeah. Like, if this is one of those shoes where you can't even make the argument, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, and I was reading actually today that basically Nike's lawsuit is almost like a copy-paste 
from the Warren Lotus lawsuit. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and, basically. And and they're basically doing that because they were able to settle with him, so now they're just trying to take what they gathered and use it on others. They're yeah. Like their formula, if you will, uh, in the court. Uh, and I personally don't think he's going to win. Okay. Um, not only that, but he's still, he's, while being in this lawsuit, he's still pushing sales. Yeah. This shit, one of his shoes released over the weekend. Mm-hmm. It was a early early access password only. Yeah, he and changed he changed it after after the lawsuit story came out and everything like that. He changed it to a password only. Yeah, he, it was originally a password only. And oh, it was. Yeah. Well, oh. Well, I, I'm sure he changed it because of the lawsuit. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I, I I saw that he had changed it after the fact. But later in that day, it was a it was open. Oh, okay, Remember okay. I, I yeah, sent, I sent Chris a screenshot yeah. later that day that that had the password in the screenshot for anyone to use. Yeah. Um. <laughs> That was funny. So yeah, man, I like like I said, trying to be really non, freaking you know about my opinions and. and well, this that's shoe. this this is what this platform is for, though. No, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. No, I mean, dude, I think the shoe is fucking trash, mm-hmm. and like, that's that's what Chris wanted to hear. Yeah, and and I just don't like it. Period. But I feel this way about many people who. who no, use yes. This equation. To yeah. Their, to their clout chase. Well, I'm, I'm, I was just using it for clip purposes, so I can. Yeah, because yeah, nah, yeah. nah, nah. uh, yeah, we because we've we've had this conversation before. Yeah, this 100%. is this we have beat this dead horse, you know, to the ends yeah. of the earth at this point. And so I just want to talk about it because it's a update, which is a thing no, that we I want to talk about. Yeah. And so it's like again, like Geiger I, blocked me, by the way. Oh, he did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he blocked me. He blocked me. Not recently. But like way back, mm. I talked. I, I literally, I probably said like, "You said the comments being spicy." Yeah, this shoe's fucking trash. Yeah. It looks just like Air Force. I'm sure I said that somewhere. And he blocked me. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Um. No. Yeah. So like, um, just same way as my opinion. Uh, I. It 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 becomes like again. It comes. It becomes a thing over and over again of the like you said from a distance no matter where you're at the first thing your mind is going to go to is air force one simple and plain that that is literally all it is and if and if this is true that they're going to have a jury and all that stuff and blah blah blah, it's it's i feel like personally and mind you i'm not in the legal business so i don't know the ups and downs of that i've never been in court for trademark (laughs) infringement so i don't know what is you know what that is but i'm giving my opinion as a consumer that you know, would think that if I love customizers, I love people that are creative, but when you take a blueprint from something else and just add your logo to it, that is not being original. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to give you that. I'm not going to give you that, 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 that space to be able to slide on that. And there's rights and wrongs way yeah. of doing that. Yeah. You, know, you can definitely draw inspiration from something. To- like, there, like there's so many things that you can, like we, there's so many things in our life that we've seen that we draw an inspiration from, but we didn't do a, well, let's just take this logo out and then put our logo here. And then let's just put a better material than what they use for this shoe on. Like that doesn't, that still is the, like you, you, you can't have somebody build a house. And then just because you took the roof off and said, I'm going to do, instead of these shingles, I'm going to do these shingles. I built this whole entire house. Damn. Like that's not, that's not that's how actually you, a pretty good analogy. But, Cause that's what it, that's yeah, and that's like really what it is. Like you can't you can't. That's not how that works. Just yeah. because you put your sign in the in the lawn and you were the last person to touch the house doesn't mean you built the whole entire thing. Um, and so, for me, it's like all right, well, and so like I said, like I don't know, if, I don't know how the jury works. I don't know what are the rules when it comes to stuff like this. But if I'm Nike and if the rules do, I can literally take his shoe, put my shoe next to his, across the court and be like. What do these look like? And it's gonna be like, like the same shoe, <laughs> like <Yeah. laughs> you know, like there's nothing. There's nothing like, and I'm sure that you're gonna get people that are like, because you see the support in his in his comments. I looked at where, oh yeah, like Nike, the bully, and all this stuff, and it's trying to like, and I I know it's to create a conversation with these blogs. The blogs yeah. are trying to create the conversation of, oh, is is Nike bullying the little guy? It's like, no, Nike is protecting its property simple and plain that is all it is it'd be the same thing if it was me and gabe and with unlaced it'd be the same thing if it was you with whatever you built i don't care how big you get you're still going to want to protect your property he is making something that is not anything that he built like yeah you put new material on it but it's like 
I can pretty sure I can go into the encyclopedia of Gabe and find a shoe that has the same material or something close to it um, of Air Force True. One. Tell them. Like that's like you're not doing anything just because you do it more often doesn't mean that you're that you're the one creating this. Yeah. And so, not to be a dead horse, I don't want to go on a long tangent about this. I probably already did, um, but that is just yeah. Um, so, we're both we've all well, we both had the same stance when it comes to this that this is not something that you can hang your hat on. Um, I think he's gonna lose. Gay thinks he's gonna lose. Um, yep. If he if he wins. Do I do I really want to ask that hypothetical? What does I mean, that what does that wins, mean? Like, and that's the thing, man. Like, my big my big like the thing I dislike the most about this situation and these situations in general is the argument that they choose to take mm-hmm. that it's that it's Nike coming down on the customizer yeah. or Nike taking away the platform or whatever you want to argue. Um. And to note, Snippets selling that. selling it, not yeah. giving it to friends yeah. and saying, hey, this is something I created, and, yeah. you know, here's a giveaway. Selling a shoe. So, yeah, sorry. But like, yeah. No, like, snippets of that do carry weight. Like, the, the, I'm sure part of it is Nike trying to take away, you know, the freedom and liberty of people customizing and doing this and doing that. Yeah. But, like, the the people who, like, Geiger and, and, and uh, Cool Kai... Who are quote unquote established in in, in yeah. this because they're I mean they're pushing units yeah whether they are. or not they're on time they're, like, they're, yeah they're, die, like, yeah either way you're still making these sales yeah um so if you're one of those types of people and your argument is Nike trying to come down on us it becomes more like bro shut up like, yeah you know, like just just shut up like, yeah you're, you're using this shoe that looks just like that shoe. And now they're mad at you, and you think you did something different. That's really the most frustrating part of it all. And you're, but you're also using the argument. Like you're using the time. Like you also have to look at like what's the climate. Mm-hmm. People trying to create their own companies, create mm-hmm. their own business, create their own legacy, and using the well. Here goes you know the big the big three mm-hmm. dropping their hammer down on the little. That's like, mm-hmm. <laughs> bro. Like oh, Wale mentions you every single week exactly, <laughs> is, is Rocky Acosta. It's like we see all the big names, celebrity, athlete, you know, influencer, you know, rocking your stuff, mm-hmm. you know, hanging out on the boat with your with your shit. Like you're not you're not yeah, the little guy. Not, yeah, you're no longer the little <laughs> guy. You're not the little guy. You haven't been a little guy for over a decade. <laughs> yeah, like it, it, that. That's the most frustrating part, yeah. in my opinion, is the angle that they come from. Yeah, um, because it's a bunch of baloney, bro. Get out of here with that. And you never know what Nike and like Nike, we don't know what Nike's you know creation board looks like. Like yeah. who know like you're the reason why they mostly are protected because like it'd be the same with us if we had something on the board that we're just not able to put out yet mm-hmm. or don't haven't completed yet, mm-hmm. and then somebody comes on, I was like, oh here's my untied T-shirt and it looks <laughs> just like it's like, uh, yo hold on <laughs> time out, know. and it's like no like that's not how that works like you don't and just because you use a different material, all that stuff, like, you don't know if Nike was going to use that down the line or the same layout. And so you destroy that because then when something that they own, they release, people are going to be like, oh, you were copying Sean Carter. Like, oh, you were, like, look at you taking influence from the, the customizer. Yeah. So it's like, no. Like, and yo, sure do you know to say how long it takes yeah. for us to I'm put sure something do, solid down? But I'm sure they do. There's, yeah. there's definitely moments where that hypothetical is real. Oh, yeah, fun. no, yeah. But, like, like, I just keep referring to that argument at this level is invalid. And it's just... I'm, I will say this, though. I have not seen any customers I personally follow have, yeah. in, have not supported anything that, exactly. that they're no, doing. No one that I personally like, that I personally bought from, that I personally, like, vouch for... Is going nobody, on. But, you yeah, know, it's like going on John yeah, Gardner's no side. No one is going through it the way these lazy people are going through it. Lazy designers or whatever you want to call them. Well, not even... But I mean, like, just not even showing support of, like, oh, yeah, like, protect us. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, like, No, yeah. like, they know because they literally are... Cus- like, they're not selling units they're uh, yo they're not, one-offs or, or a knockoff yeah like, that's really what it is um yeah dude these, these the the owners of these big companies are like babies right now yeah literally just saying it's original yeah and they're sticking to it and it's whatever i don't like it um i don't understand how you can see that and then like we have like uh uh 
Is it mock? It's pretty delusional, bro, when you think about it. Oh, mosh. very, very. Mosh. 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 But it's very delusional, bro, if you really want to, like, step away. Oh, yeah. And look at these grown-ass men talking about, no, that shoe doesn't, my shoe doesn't look like that shoe. Like, no, bro. It's the same shoe. You know, you know, plausible deniability, at least, I guess. Like, yeah. we are trying to, trying to, you know, always all, deny, deny, deny. Mm-hmm. But when you have, like, uh, a mosh, who just released a, who did a pop up at um, yeah, yeah, on yeah. Um, a UN? Yeah, a UN. Yeah. And that shoe, that fully shoe original, fire, and bro. it's fire as hell. Every single colorway has been hot. And I, I will say this most recent one is my least favorite one. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Hmm. I, like, I kind of actually like that one better than most of the ones They're I saw. All, really? Bro, the yeah. Tortugas is fucking gas. The all red ones, fire. Oh. The I first pair was like a multicolor. Yeah, I like that color. one too. Yeah. Man, I but can't. I think I, I think it's because I like the all black and with the multicolor. The all black does have like the quilted stitching. Yeah. It does have more leather usage. Yeah. So it, it's it's more of like the upscale version. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. And so like for for me like you see him who releases a fully original shoe and mm-hmm. is like you know you don't see him compl- like you don't see him getting because he customizes. Yes, he does customize, but. When it comes to his shoe, it's a totally different... Like, I can't pinpoint... Like, the closest thing I can think of, and even then, it's literally just one piece of that shoe, is the um, is the ice cream shoe that I can think of. That, like, when I look at that shoe, that's what I think of. And it's only because of the colorways. The Pharrell's? Yeah. The BBC's? Mm-hmm. Bro. And so, like, you think, of, like, think yeah. about, like... How far you have to go to think, like think about how deep into your 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 memory you have to go to look at that shoe, yeah. and it's like only because of the colorways. Like that's where I see that shoe. Like it's like oh, like that that, that takes me back. That makes you sense. Know? That makes yeah, sense. but other than that, I'm not like sitting there like oh that looks like a that looks like a Air Force One. Oh that oh, yeah. that looks like a fire Jordan Low. If they did that and that look like it's nothing like that. And so you can't sit here and just be like oh yeah my shoe looks great like because I did it and it's better material and. Like, no, that's, yeah, like you said, it's being delusional at this yeah, point. I'm, yeah, I'm not a fan. So, yeah, but uh, we'll, we'll keep you updated on that. Yeah, um, know, I don't, let us know what y'all think, bro. Yeah, please do. Uh, in the comments, let us know, like, like, are you on the side of John Geiger? Like, and I don't, like, are you on the side of, like, a cool Kai John Geiger of this shoe is its own original thing Concept, and whatever. Nike is just being a bully and trying to, you know, monopolize the market or whatever whatever we can still be homies bro yeah like just let us know friends. like yo, hey nika was on uh cool car side and we and her had a conversation about it and it was just like yo she felt she felt that was you know nike was overstepping but it's like hey that's how you feel that's what you feel i'm not i'm not tripping you know i'm not tripping either but i'm so, still gonna give you that i'm still yeah gonna yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i'm still gonna be like whoa Okay, okay, buddy. Like, yo, I'm um, still gonna hit you with that. Yeah. So, yeah. So, we'll keep you updated on that. Please comment below. Let us know what you think. Um, let us know if you want to talk about it. Shit, if you want to talk about it on the show, come sit down. Come on. Oh, true. Come, oh. on. Come, on. <laughs> come on. We 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 in person with it. We in person with it. I'm just letting y'all know. We in, we we with it. True. We All got right? a plexiglass right here though for our social distance. Oh yeah. If y'all if y'all need that, we can we can arrange that. Yeah, Don't even worry you know, about that. Right in between the cushions. So yeah. It'll be straight up. Exactly. You know. Or um, we could uh, put the camera in the corner and shoot this way. And, you know, spread us out this way. Hey, I'm you know, you know I'm always sitting on the floor. I'm cool. Oh, bro, we could have a a camp out special. There you go. We're on the floor. Eating s'mores, have like a little fake little fire. True, yeah. I don't even like s'mores. Oh, you don't like s'mores? I, I like s'mores, but I think is it the prepping of the s'more? No, I like prepping the s'more. Actually. Oh, okay. I think it's the messiness of the s'more. Oh yeah, yeah. Where I'm just like you get, I'm a, you get I'm the a marshmallow on like your bite. You know, yeah. Like, all right, the animal and I just throw it away. Yeah, I get the I get the 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 uh, the hot marshmallow in my beard. Like, oh, okay. It just looks crazy. Like it, it, lo- it looks like a bird, like actually just shit on my beard. The way, like it's like hey, the man. melted marshmallow I heard with the chocolate. Getting pooped on by a, be- by a bird is good luck. That's what I heard. Yeah, yeah. very embarrassing though. But I've been pooped on once by a bird. I, I see my cousin get. I said it. I see my cousin get pooped on by a bird. Oh, you seen it? Yeah, like it literally, like she was standing next to me, and I was like, "What just fell out the sky?" And it was on a shoulder, and she just starts freaking out. And we're like, oh, bro, "Yo, that bird does not like you." Yeah, it's cold blooded. Yeah, that was that was foul. Damn. Um, yeah, I hope I never get pooped yeah, on. Peace, peace be with you, John Geiger. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> good luck. Yeah. <laughs> good luck. You know. 
We're off. We're off. Wait, if you make it through, yeah, you yeah, make it bro, through. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll talk about, about your I'll triumph buy, as well on I'll here. I'll buy one of your shoes if you win the lawsuit, bro. So there you go. Watch it. Watch it. <laughs> You're blocked. I, anyway. I, I, bro, I'm going to be so pissed on that episode if he wins and... Y'all see me with oh, um, you, gotta, oh, yeah. you gotta you gotta go up to the camera and actually yeah, show the you gotta show the confirmation. Right yeah, you gotta let them know. You know. Make it mine. But, yeah. Fuck, um, I said it on air. Um but yeah, so uh moving on, uh next topic. Uh so uh we got an announcement. From one unoriginal guy to another? Yeah, basically. Alright. Yeah. Uh we got an announcement uh of a new trophy room dropping that's the unoriginal guy I was mentioning. yeah so marcus jordan um and trophy room has um have had first last week um was being very uh sneaky about oh maybe a trophy might come up and he did like a little clock thing with all the different trophy rooms he did but there was a silhouette at the top that was blanked out um it was the silhouette of a jordan one so a lot of people just kind of ran with another jordan one mm-hmm. trophy room which that was not the case um uh, and then he announced that it is going to be a seven. Mm-hmm. Um, are we talking like an original colorway seven? Or so the seven, so the seven whole... that they showed was the Olympic seven. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, so I don't know if that's the silhouette itself. I mean, right. if that's the colorway they're going with, or they're doing something else. If they give me like this trophy room execution on the Olympic 7 colorway, I'll be highly upset. How? Why? Because, man, I'm, I... We had that shoe here, the Trophy yep, Room 1. Yep, sure I was, did. I was a little... Un- underwhelmed. Underwhelmed, that's yeah. a good word. I'll stick with that. I was very underwhelmed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, yeah, man, I can only imagine what that 7 is gonna do to me if he follows that same, you know, uh plan of attack or whatever for this next shoe so but i like it sucks because i actually like and it's actually no i take it back because i like the fives but the fives are literally just toro fives yeah um but the blue point the blue pair is pretty nice the oiler looking one yeah those Um, are those are really dope okay yeah so you know he got some little small victories for sure (laughs) small victories small victories for sure but the man sorry I'm, i'm trying to find it for you um I don't see yeah. where they posted so, it. Yeah, if it ends up being an Olympic 7, I mean, I'm going to be upset because I actually do want that shoe. Specifically, I want the For the Love of the Game retros. I'm, uh-huh. I'm upset that I got rid of that retro years back. Yeah, same. Um, same. But if it's going to be literally an identical Olympic 7 with their twist on it, like they've done the last three shoes or whatever, mm-hmm. um, I... I don't know if I can, like, really enjoy the shoe if it's just the Trophy Room logo somewhere on there. Um, probably be stitched on. And I can imagine maybe the, the the number on the back might change or something. I don't know, man, but... they Yeah, they, they would probably, yeah he'll probably put the little Trophy Room logo on the back. On yeah, the back I, just, I just don't... Please don't ruin the Olympic <laughs> 7 for me. That's, that's all I'm asking for. <laughs> The, the, the heavy sigh that you made, just like I, I just, I just, I just hope that he just doesn't ruin. That's this for all me. I want, bro. Do whatever you want, but just don't ruin the shoe for me, man. Just give me something I like or I'll like. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, I saw it. Um, I'm, I we when I first made this, it was um, it was going to be on like us guessing. Yeah. And funny thing was, I was going to guess a seven. Yeah. Um, just you know, just kind of throw it out there because like, like, why not? Rug. Yeah, like why not? Like you know, Chris is lying. Oh no! I, I literally was like, I th- I was gonna guess either a seven or um an eight. Okay. And so I was like, either one because that would that would make sense. I don't I didn't think when I saw it so long, I was like, it would be weird for him to do a one again, mm-hmm. right after one that just dropped. Mm-hmm. Especially the way like how that went. Like I would think you would want to kind of like separate yourself. Mm-hmm. And so I thought he would try to do something a little bit, you know, kind of just, eh. That would be a little bit like, oh, okay, well, it's a seven, uh, I guess, you know. Because even then, like, we don't know what it looks like, so it's not also, like, we don't know what the the final look of it is. So there wasn't really hype for it to be to begin with because, you know, people don't know what they're going to be looking for. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, w- I really thought it was either, I, I was going to guess a seven or eight. Um, 
I wouldn't have been surprised if he would have did something else. I thought he was going to do like, when I first saw the 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 thing. I thought it was a two silhouette, and I was going to send you and be like, uh, "Hey, this goes a two. Like, I would have been mad. I I was going to be like, "Up, oh, see, you know, he got the he got the word that you know Virgil's trying to do some twos, like, so he got to he got to get his two in there." Oh, it sucks, man, because the Jordan two has been on my radar for the longest. I even bought. I ended up not. I didn't personally buy, but. I ended up finding a pair of twos for someone else while mm-hmm. I was looking for my pair of twos. So I'm glad that she bought them. Yeah. Um, because she got to experience owning a two before this hype. Yeah. Uh, but I've been trying to get mine, bro. Like, I really have. It's, Prices it's, were high even before. And now we're getting into uh, September. Yeah. So now we're just yeah. like, now it's just it's like. Over. Do you think? Do you think they'll come back into? Do you think someone will resurface with the the off white twos coming out at I'm the end of the month? I'm a little surprised that there isn't more hype behind the two, outside of that those two releases. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. You know, like I, I don't know, may, but maybe going forward we'll see more. Yeah. So we'll see. Well, because you know, like they haven't done the official pictures yet yeah. too, so like the yeah. the hype train hasn't built up for it yet. We're not in September technically, just and yet. So that shoe is growing on me. Initially, yeah. I was kind of like on the fence about it, but it's growing on me. I think it's just because it's a two, to be honest. Probably. Why I like it. Yeah. Um, but back to trophy room. Back to trophy room. Um, so, that, so, we, I, I like the idea, so I'm sorry, I gotta get mine. I like the idea of a seven. I really like, because, you know, I, I like sevens as well, so that's yeah. really, that, it's really dope. I would, I really want to see what, if it is an Olympic colorway, um, yeah, I hope, he does it well mm. like you know because mm. i like the Olympic colorway like you said i like the for the love of the game one i wish i kept those you know with the little you know gold heart on the back like they really did dope. do alternate olympic sevens and those are garbage yeah terrible yeah so please um, don't <laughs> go that route either yeah don't try to don't don't try to be original well be original but don't try to be original yeah like don't overdo it's, it it's tough because if you're already working with an established colorway mm. you don't want to fuck it up yeah exactly but you also don't want it to just be the same damn yeah so i'm if he does do olympic seven that is a lot of white Mm -hmm. to like it's a lot of white and it's very minimal color so what if he goes with like with like an aged olympic seven look kind of like the off-white two but not as like hyper real like that yeah because they imitated the cracked souls and stuff but like maybe an aged soul Maybe like if you give me like a little thicker material, then maybe yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Like I don't know what he could do really, because yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's because it's a lot of it's like a lot of blank space, and then it's very minimal color. So it's like if that is the color way he's doing. And again, this is all speculation, so we don't know if that's the color way he's going with. But that's what that was the photo that they it's used. The blogs got you. Know? Yeah. So, um, and but you know I'm not gonna listen to the blogs because they all as soon as he dropped that photo with the blanked out silhouette, mm-hmm. everybody was like new trophy room one coming like yeah. so i'm i'm gonna take that with a grain of rice but or a grain of salt whatever however the phrase goes but um if he does olympic seven it's it's i want yeah like you said it's gonna be tough because it's just a lot of open space and it's yeah. like what do you do with that yeah. and if it's anything like the one i don't know yeah, how you know shimmered out yeah i don't know how you, know. you do how you make that look good because not it wouldn't it wouldn't translate well what if it's like a olympic seven with a translucent soul and like i don't know that's so. not not if he doesn't try if the, <laughs> if there's anything see-through on that shoe i will be highly upset i better not be able to see through anything on that shoe right. i like the idea of the aged like but if you if you do that because that shoe is already thin I would want him to at least make a have a thicker material well, for that. You better shirt. you better get ready to be upset because those I'm trophy right. room ones was paper thin, bro. Very thin. They very was, thin. They man. They gave him that. That's that, that. That it seemed like they gave him the sample shoe, bro. <laughs> bro for for those for those three racks, bro. I'm man. I'd, I'd be uh, highly upset. Uh, um, that's, but if you got the money like that, then obviously uh, yeah, quality yeah. may not even be. We're not, a, right, we're not here to count pockets. Do what you gotta do. Whatever makes you happy. Checklist, exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah, but yeah. So I'm wondering. But if he if if he did, hey, can we get a citrus seven then on the trophy room? Yo, he get a citrus. Got my boy Chris all dripping. 
Oozing. Look at him, bro. Yeah, if he gives me a Citrus it. 7 trophy hey, room. Hey, your bread made it onto the episode, bro. Oh, so did. Oh, yeah, I was I was, I was, was hungry as hell. <laughs> He's like right there. Well, uh, you probably still can see it. It don't matter. Um, <laughs> If he gives me a Citrus 7, like, what if he, do, yeah, like, give me a deep cut. I mean, bro, like. Give me, give me something. Give, yeah, give me a, huh? What the fuck is that? Like. You know something that's like oh, you I really see. gotta okay. gotta really. Okay. It'd be like it'd be like what, what is? If you gave us those um, do you remember those uh, LS sevens? I think they were the Pacific Blues. I think it was Pacific Blue, the ones that actually do have a out clear outsole, but it's like it's only halfway. It's not the whole thing, and hmm. the white is like an off white, and it's blue and orange. You remember those? Those are I feel like that sounds blue and orange. That sounds bro. familiar. Yes, sir. I get terrible service in here. What is going on? Oh, yeah. Those for being like this random colored seven. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Why does that sound familiar? Bro, you got the Google in your hand. Well, bro. I have, like I said, I have terrible service. So I can't even. Bro, know. let me let me hook him up with this five yeah, G, bro. I got five G. I ain't even got the five G. He. I got the LTE going right now. Hey, Adidas just told me that my level has been demoted, bro. I ain't been spending money. <laughs> I ain't been spending money. <laughs> they said, "Hey, yo, we not just gonna sit here and let you have you watching oh shoes go by." Gosh. Nah, you wasting our time right now. You wasting somebody I'm else's now, spot. I'm not a. I'm now a playmaker. I think I went down a level, bro. What was you at before? Though. The highest one? Oh, damn. Oh, you see? Now it's telling me you, I got to spend X amount of points by the end of the next month to reclaim my previous level. Yeah, yeah. What the? We're not, we're not, we're not out here just letting you just sit here. they literally telling me, don't yeah. give up, Gabriel. Yeah, we're get not, we're not doing that. Game. Nah, get, yeah. Get, the get off the bench, here, bro. bro. Get off the bench and well, make if, some plays. Well, if y'all will pick me to win some Yeezys. Make some plays. I'd gladly spend my money with y'all. Man, we, we ain't doing all that. But Come they on. did give me a 20% off. I'm about to use on some Yeezys. Oh, there, you <laughs> hey, there you go. There you go. Oh, win, win. Um, those man, they're full of shit. At yeah, these, yeah, they, bro. they hate you. And they got this model. It looks like a fake ass Chance the Rapper. I know you can't see. <laughs> Looking down here like a fake Chance, bro. <laughs> yeah, he can. He can. Why you? Why you? Why you? Why you throwing shade at I'm, random models? I'm upset. Hey, they demoted you. You just gotta eat that. I'm upset, bro. You, hey, you should have been buying more Yeezys. They know. They're like, yo, we don't, they, we don't like the way you've been at they, trying to hit on sneakers they don't all even the time. Pick me, bro. They saw you. They saw you trying to get at your ex. That's why they was like, "Yo, what's over there at Nike? What's going oh, on?" True. Yeah, what's going on over true. there? Come on, come they back over like, here. We appreciate hey, you over here. Nike still didn't pick me. But <laughs> Nike, they don't send me emails was, like you've been demoted. Like, was, <laughs> I can't believe Adidas right now, bro. Imagine the girl coming. Yeah, yo, I don't like that. You ain't hit me up in like a week. Yeah, you have to start. You off. You off the yeah. bench. I'm, I'm. I'm getting somebody else to start. Yeah, I'm yeah. The G yeah. Like, what? We'll, we'll develop yeah. you real quick. Let's oh see if you could bro, earn Chick your spot back. Chick Fil A don't even treat me like Adidas, bro. <laughs> wait, do you have rewards for Chick Fil A? Hell yeah. Wait, wait. Chick Fil A has rewards. Yeah. What do you get from it? Uh, points towards how, free food. How often do you go to Chick Fil A? <laughs> okay, so all right, all right. Sidebar. <laughs> it's not that I go often. So keep it G. Literally, just like three months ago. I was like, man, I really want to get to the red level of Chick Fil A, but there were I had like to the end of the year to to do it. Yeah. And then I went once or twice or whatever, and then one of my boys gave me like a grip of fucking free sandwich cards. Uh -huh. So I just paid for like my sides. It's I literally only spend like five bucks when I go, but I get all those points. Uh huh. So I'm trying to get that red level. So I had like the six cards that he gave me. I only got like two left. What's what's your uh, what's your uh, what's your what's your middle choice to take for? Oh, bro, I'm going with the with the spicy deluxe, bro. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. No pickles though. Oh, yes, sir. I don't fuck with pickles. Yeah. Uh, and game changer, I go with the Kobe cheese, bro. I don't I don't get I don't go with the pepper jack. I go with the Kobe cheese. I might have to try that, bro. It's what time does Chick Fil A close? Because now I want it. We, we going after. It's no problem. Uh, I'm with that. They close at eleven. Oh shit! <laughs> it's, it's not. Let's a go. Hey, let's wrap this up. Yeah. I'm, hey, I'm all right, y'all. Thank y'all for to joining. Fire up the app so I get these points off. Crystal. Yeah. <laughs> um. Now, nah, yeah. So, uh, um, go back to looking up that shoe after. Yeah, I please. Disrespected the yeah, shit they, out yeah, of me. Yeah, they came at you foul. Oh my uh, god, bro! Yeah. I'm so glad that happened while we're recording. Man, hey Adidas, what y'all doing out here? Um, no, yeah, so I'm, for me, 
Uh, uh, I just want everyone to know that Gabe's encyclopedia knowledge is on point because it is the Jordan 7 Pacific Blue. Let me see. Yes, fucking sir, it is. Yes, sir, Rito's Auto Square. Um, I'll pull it up right uh-huh. here. Oh, that Look is a deep ass. Ooh, ooh, I face? wanted those so bad. He's I really that? wanted yeah, those too. Yeah, yeah. I could never find a good pair. The only good pair I could find was at Flight Club, and I was not spending four hundred fifty dollars on them. I couldn't do it. And the lowest asking price for a size ten and a half is twenty five thousand. That guy's smoking big, but you know Fuck the that. last sale was four hundred twenty five though. Yeah, see that yeah. that was I, yeah, like it was like it was like four fifty like like, and that was like a few years ago. Release. Yeah, that was a few years ago too. Yeah. Oh, that is a deep ass cut. Yeah, that. Oh, I like that. I've been around. Hey, if he does that, I've been around. Hey, if he, oh, I've been around. He do that, <laughs> I might have to. <laughs> yeah, yeah this is my turn. Hey, <laughs> this is my fine. time. This is my time. Um, I hope. I hope he has that kind of like mentality, but I feel like he doesn't. But so not for not just to go long. I want. The, I want us to get this out. Um, do you think this is too soon to do a nut? Well. Okay. Actually, yeah, I'm going to ask that anyway, even if it sounds weird. Do you think it's too soon for him to do another release after what happened last release? And do you think anything will change based off, because based off his attitude, based off of how he's been on Twitter, Mm -hmm. I'm on Twitter, you know, more than you are, but I see the way he he is on Twitter. No remorse. It kind of is just like, hey, I got my money, I'm out kind of thing. Yeah. Do you think that there will be anything that changes from this release when this comes out. So it's a two-parter, and, mm-hmm. you know, yeah, give me your thoughts. Do I think it's too soon? Um, not really, simply because, like, there's been hella collaborators this year Yeah. who have gotten more than one shoe. Okay. Most recently, the Sakai's yeah. came out this weekend. Yep. Those were Sakai fragments. And they got they got one coming out in like two a- more weeks. Yeah. yeah, they have now up next is, is the Sakai clock. Mm-hmm. And then before that was like eight pairs of Sakai's. Mm-hmm. So I don't think it's too soon. Um, well, I'm saying like just based off of because of like what happened. Regard, it, yeah. well, in that regard, I don't think it's too soon. Okay. In terms of what happened and if things will change compared to the last one, um, I don't. I honestly don't think anything will change. Okay. I don't think he cares. I don't think anyone who can make change cares. Um, and if anything, like, no, it's a trophy room, so there's no other way of getting the damn shoe. Like, it doesn't even come. It's only Nike and them, and that's it. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't think anything will change. We're all going to get asked out. No one's going to get it. No one you know will have the shoe. No one I know will have the shoe. Jeremy's going to luck out somehow and again. Jeremy's going to get Jeremy's going to luck out again he's somehow. He's been hitting on all the big releases all, all year. All of them. He got the, he got the Sakai's this weekend, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he did? Yeah. He got the Sakai's. He got the Fours. He got the Off-White Dunks. Yeah. Um, like, yeah, yeah. It, yeah, I honestly think he has some. He has some dirt on somebody in the Nike. I don't. I don't know what's yeah. going on, but Jeremy's Jeremy's hidden. Jeremy's too quiet um, because Jeremy's been too quiet. So I think he there's some there's some yeah, some going he, on. He he has someone's address working at USPS. Oh yeah, for know? sure. For sure. Yeah. For sure, he got. Oh, we got we got to talk about that. But go ahead. Yeah, oh, sorry. Okay. Oh, maybe he's not there. Don't don't don't. No, not that. No, no. I'm just no. kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> no. But. Yeah, I don't think anything will change. I don't think anyone that cares will make a change. Or okay. anything that anyone that can make a change will care. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna be in the same loop all over again. Same cycle. Looking for this shoe that we all want that we're not gonna get. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I, yeah. Only thing that will change is probably the overall height. Okay. Because it's seven. It's and a seven. Not yeah. One. Yeah. And more obtainable re- and resale wise five, too. Looking at the fives. I felt like even then those didn't get as much hype. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, they gave me a, a glimmer of hope. I don't know why I thought I had a glimmer of hope, <laughs> but they gave it to yeah. me, and I didn't get the fucking shoes. So whatever. Uh, but yeah, I don't. Yeah. yeah so I, I yeah, I've, I, I kind of feel the same way. I wanted to ask a question just because I, I felt like I personally felt like it was too soon, mm-hmm. um, with everything that happened. Mm-hmm. Um, I think you know, yeah we move on shoes come out every week so you know you kind of move on but i still think that because even when you see the reaction to it it's still the same like immediate up back door back door these aren't even yeah. gonna make it to the shelves yeah. you know blah 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 um and then 
you not having anything to say after the fact yeah. of what happened with the one. You yeah. just kind of move on. You dismissed everything and moved on uh moved on to the next uh the next thing literally everything yeah and so for me that's where i feel like there's an issue with that like yo you should be a little bit more because uh, let, let's be real like he's not hurting his he's not hurting his his profits like they're gonna people are st- they're still gonna sell out in a minute i'm gonna try you know regardless but oh i think that at some point like you still have to like earn their trust as yeah, well yeah. like to believe that yo we we are getting a fair shot at this and it's weird that you can do this in the midst of people saying that nike doesn't give a shit about you know people scooping up on bots and all that stuff even though nike's trying to oh yeah we care about everybody kind mm-hmm. of thing and it's like no you don't you're mm-hmm. you, you don't give a shit like it's like you're doing it for face value just to win brownie points they'll be like oh they're fixing the problem and it's not you know it's not being fixed um, and so, and then people not having a clear understanding of how do, how do accounts get the ability to win? Because now what, two weeks ago it was like, oh, now it doesn't matter how much activity you have on your account. It, mm-hmm. it, it doesn't, it doesn't pick up random. So it's like literally uh, days after saying it did matter. Yeah. And so yeah. then now people are like, well, okay, well I should just create another account thing. It doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. And so like that, you know, that becomes its own thing. And yeah, so um, I think it's just too soon, uh, but again, he's still gonna sell out. Who cares, right? At this point, like, and I don't want it to sound like a, like a, you know, all hope is lost. But that kind of is how it feels because that's how the brand has taken it, and that's how we are sitting in 2021 and still complaining about the same things. No res- resolutions have been made about any of those, mm-hmm. and no, all the good ideas that people have come up, even with you coming up with ideas on how you could help and benefit, and you know, I fix small parts of the the uh, process when it comes to sneaker apps and being able to be able to get a shoe none of them been implemented none of them have even been looked at you know to our knowledge so it's like you know i kind of miss the, the 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 twitter days yeah where they would tweet their links yeah and that's where we went you know we had to run it from there and then after that they started doing the, the pictures with the, with, yeah. the, with the words with the hashtag that was cool as fuck too mm. I mean, bots ate those up too, but mm. I mean, it was, at least it was like a game, if yeah. you will. Like, there was a sense of interaction. Yeah. That, you know, if, I, if I'm if i on it, I'm, I might get through. Um, but now it's just like, the draw is so whack. I hate it. I, I literally enter, I go back to sleep for those 10 minutes simply to wake up to not only... A notification, but a fucking email. Yeah. Both of them got to tell me I didn't win. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, like, email, that email, I think, is like the big thing. Like, so, oh, just keep so, us in your inbox, too. <laughs> you like, know? Why do you got to send me that email, yeah. bro? Like, that, and those, so I think... Those dirts. And, like, I'm stuck at, you know, fucking uh, secondhand Twitter accounts that post a link to see if I can get them at a store or... Yeah. You know, something like that's yeah. kind of what it is. Like that's what I've resulted to. Like, like not with these big leaks because I, like, I know I have to go through the sinkers app regardless. Mm-hmm. But like, you know, the regular side, I know people are gonna you know eat up and the bots are gonna clear out. Like, I'll just wait for like the links for like certain stores to open mm-hmm. up. And it's like sometimes I hit, sometimes I don't. You know, the the um, electric uh, green uh, sixes. I did that. I was able to get in finish line. And literally, as soon as I made the, um, as soon as I made the purchase, it kicked me, and I was like, "Well, did I get it?" And got the email saying, "Yeah, your order's coming. like so." It's cool, but you know, that's what I've kind of like been stuck at. Like I, the sneakers app now is kind of like eh, whatever. Like we'll, we'll, like I'll try, but yeah, like you said, like I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to be tossing a turn because I know it's like most mm-hmm. likely it's not gonna happen. Um, hopefully one day I can come on here and be happy about it, but. Yeah, we're waiting for the big one. Yeah, coming through. <laughs> Honestly, Chris. I'm due. I'm yeah. I'm definitely yeah, Chris due. Is due. I'm definitely due. So uh, maybe the short room might be the one. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to touch on. Um, you were talking about, bro, because I know you don't want them. Nah, no. And I got you. I got you. Um, I want to talk about the uh, the FedEx situation and stealing packages. Yeah. Um, I just applied there yesterday, by the way. Oh, you did? Nope. Oh. <laughs> But I want those shoes. So. Yo, try, yo, try. Hey. Yeah, I got to apply. Y'all, y'all need delivery, guys? Hey, yeah. Y'all. I, <laughs> I, I didn't know y'all was giving hey. away shoes. Yeah. I, I don't know if we could open these packages. I didn't, I didn't know that we could do that. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? You should have said that before. Yeah. yeah. 
Hell yeah, I want to work. I get, I get, I get three tries to open three packages, and if, the, if there's what's up and I want, and one of those three, I can take it. Yeah, yeah I'll take it, dude. I'm all for it. Oh man, um, nah, uh, uh, so okay, yeah, no, um, no, have no, you the Beaverton ones? Just, oh no, they don't even come from Beaverton. They come from Tennessee, right? Yeah, yeah, Tennessee. How, um, how, uh, uh, how do you? Well, I don't should say how you feel because who wants to get their package stolen? Um, what? Do you think? Do you think that now people are a little like because you have so many people like, and I'm, okay, I'm gonna say this because I'm just saying this through my my observation of this city community. A lot of the people in the city community work for postal services, which I found out. Mm-hmm. A lot of them mm-hmm. didn't know that. <laughs> I, I didn't know if that was like the job. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Uh, but that's what I found out. Yeah. Not saying any of them still packages. So don't. No, we're not doing that because that's not what I think. Yeah. But do you think because we're finding, like, you see, like, a lot of these people that are big names in the city community and you find out, like, oh, they work for, you know, USPS or FedEx or, you know, um, U, uh, UPS or whatever, you start getting these um, younger kids applying because, again, great jobs, they pay, they pay great, you know, stuff like that. So, of course, you know, and these people are living off of this. So, obviously, you know, they're, you know, eating well off of just the yeah. paycheck alone. Also takes financial literacy and management, just throwing that there out you there. Get, there you go. You know, this is, you Manage know, your money. There goes your PSA from Gabe. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you see, you start seeing these people, these kids, you know, young adults, all that stuff, yeah. going into that and finding, seeing it as an opportunity of, oh, well, I, you know, because Nike, Nike, box? Nike, yeah. just do it all over the box. Yeah. You well, know, even, even even the one that doesn't have the tape, you can just you can is it, you remember it as a Nike box. Yeah, like yeah. most like Apple, like that's the funny thing about it. It's like Apple, um, uh, Nike are the two because those are two companies I order from the most. So I you know I see the box. Apple sends Apple boxes. No, they don't send that box, but you can tell by the packages you know that that's. That's, I've never bought from Apple. Oh yeah, so when, uh, when you like when like the new phones, like when I was having them shipped to me instead of going to the store, when they would come, it's you you could tell it was literally. I don't know if they changed it now, but because I've I haven't done it in uh, two generations of iPhone, uh-huh. but the last, it was a box maybe this big, <laughs> and we it's slightly all, bigger than the yeah, and we know you know everybody knows when Apple deliveries yeah. and pre orders come out, so it's heavy. Um, they get back ordered quickly so then when you're delivering it's usually uh, FedEx or it's FedEx or USPS that deliver the um, the, yeah. the the Apple the iPhones it's you just <laughs> if you if you're aware and know like it uh-huh. all it takes is you know being online knowing like oh shit Apple just dropped the phone and oh, the, the oh, shipment shift today yeah the ship is coming oh, out okay. you know yeah oh, I'm about you to can get you can do iPhone. that yeah um, I've never so, had I've never had an experience like this by the way. No? I've never not gotten my stuff. Huh. Like across the board on wow. everything I've ever ordered. Knock on fucking wood. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> like, um, everything. Um I've always gotten my shit. Yeah, Sometimes same Sometimes it comes fucked up and I have to get <laughs> another one, but I've always gotten my yeah. shit. But yeah, so do you think that that all, that like maybe, and I don't want to assume all these young adults are out here just you know fun, you know. But do you think that that plays a role because we're starting to see I it a lot more because them. even the videos that we see of people, it's yeah. young, it's dudes in like their early twenties, yeah. you know, and they're I just mean, I, selling boxes out the back of the truck. Like what? I've seen that one. I wouldn't put it past them, bro. I mean, uh, like you said, if we're really looking at the younger generation, then yeah, I would definitely wouldn't wouldn't put it past them like they see money they see opportunity to steal i guess yeah. sadly and they'll, they'll run it yeah like yeah all day and most of these companies have insurance policy so either way if it is something that it's just going to be chalked up as a as an L. you know as an l even though the person that's supposed to receive it is especially if it's a shoe that's highly talented that you're not going to be able to you know recoup at any um any point mm-hmm. It's still like it's still a big L for you, but yeah. for the company, it's not a it's not like such a big deal. Exactly. Unless it's being recorded. Exactly. So, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. I'm sure there has to be a good percentage, even if it's like three percent. So if I was twenty one, I'd three percent of all these thousands, a hundred thousand people, it's a big amount. Yeah. 
so th- there has to be a, a, a percentage of people that for sure think like all right i'm gonna sign up just to steal packages yeah much like you would have someone that'd be like yo i'm gonna work at chick-fil-a because i want chick-fil-a sandwich yeah for free yeah or whatever it's the same, it was the same thing yeah. with Foot Locker or something yeah. like that like you get yeah. a discount exactly. you know you get yeah exactly except over here you literally don't gain anything like that yeah. other than access to someone's packages <laughs> before they receive yeah them. exactly um so yeah i'm sure people do it for for that for that matter yeah because I, I would say like in this generation not when i was 21 back then but yeah. like because i feel like for some reason like i if i grew up now I think I would have been spoiled to the point where I wouldn't have a conscience. So I definitely would probably. I, I think I would probably take my package. Like if I knew, yeah, Chris is nobody a would bag. know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Chris is a real dirtbag for that one. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I think I, I think I would like. I can understand, but it's you know it's fucked up, and it's like yeah. we're starting to see an increase in that. Where I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was gonna happen to me for my sixes. Oh yeah. Like, but I guess I was just uh, that was there was just a, a delay across the board. Yeah. Um, but I, I I didn't not think about that. Mm-hmm. You know, I was like, damn, did someone come up? Like, what's really going to happen? Um, thankfully, it didn't happen. Yeah. But I, I did have that thought process. And, good, like, for me, like, you know, where I live, like, it's the same three delivery dudes. Like, and there's one chick that does uh, FedEx. Mm-hmm. And, like, they're all super cool. Like, you know, they say hi, like, you know, all that stuff. So, I, I say hi to my delivery people all the time. Yeah. And I so, catch them. Yeah. And, like. I've never seen. I've never like. It's always been them. Mm-hmm. So it's like the USP, uh, US, uh, U- UPS dude. Well, same dude I've known, seen the last three years. Chris does live in the middle of nowhere, so I would expect <laughs> less turnover for those positions, but and more turnover for like. But someone. they. But they. But they. They deliver. So, well, yeah, that kind of goes to that point. But at the same time, <laughs> they have more of a wider. Um, a wider brand because they also deliver through to Lancaster, which mm-hmm. I would think they would have more people, you know, rotating. It's like that, but it's this. It's usually it's the same, you know, two black dudes for USPS and um, UPS, okay. and then there's the same um, Hispanic chick for uh, FedEx okay. all the time, no matter what. Um, and so it's like, for me, you know, I don't, I wouldn't see him. like one of the guy for UPS. He he's he looks like he's in his like mid twenties, okay. but it doesn't seem like he like. Again, I don't know him, so who knows? But like when I talk to him, it doesn't seem like he would be anything like that. But I notice when you see like a lot of these, these, these it's like yeah, I can, you can you can kind of tell. And then then it kind of defeats the purpose when it doesn't take that long for you to become be able to get promoted to be a driver. Because at one point they were just hiring them off the spot, like yeah, and we then, need I mean, drivers. Especially now, even still. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like <laughs> you get you, if you twenty one. Shit, not even twenty one, probably just you know, young adult. Hey, I need a job, and it's like, oh, delivery driver. I just got my license. Yeah. You know, you want to drive this big ass truck? Eighteen an hour or whatever they pay. Yeah, yeah, sure, let's do it. And oh, then yeah. I know I can just look in the back and be like, oh, okay, just do it, sticker. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, what shoes came out this weekend? Yeah, or, you know, I can just hit my sneakers out and be see yeah. what. Oh, there's a possibility might be in there. There's, there's three. There's three boxes that look similar. Mm-hmm. You know, when yeah. I'm skimming through, because when I'm looking at, oh, Nike. Incorporated? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Look at this guy. Yeah. He sounds like he's done this before. Well, because I know the tag. The tag, the tag is always Nike dot incorporated there you go. every single time. There he goes, bro. You know, so it's like if if I'm look if I'm if I'm that if I'm a goon like that and I look and I'm like you know I gotta go through and scan <laughs> the packages. If I see a Nike, like yeah. oh okay, and then it's yeah. like oh what shoes came in? Oh, oh, oh okay, okay, cool, yeah. 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 Oh, what these go for? Oh, yeah. Okay. Get a yeah. little, see with the boxes. Oh yeah, these yeah these yeah, so these got lost. Scoop. Yeah, these, these got these got left at the the yeah. facility. And that's to be crazier because there's the tracking history at that point says that it's out for delivery. Yeah. So like, I don't think you can steal it then. I think you got to catch it before it gets to that point. Like, well, because most the, of them are getting them at in, in the truck. So it, like, because most of those, so it will get it will so get scanned at the are, facility of where it's at. Stolen from the people who are organizing the people the over the overnight people the people who intake everything okay drivers yeah. too but i think as a driver you risk more yeah because you get it's, so like if it's a pasadena delivery it'll get scanned at whatever facility is closest mm-hmm. and then it'll just say alpha delivery so but it, you you still wouldn't know like what truck it went on unless the only people that would know what truck it went on are the people that actually work there and even then, it could be just like, yo, I didn't see it. 
okay, okay. <laughs> I didn't I didn't I didn't see it on my truck because right. they're not the ones that have to put everything on the truck, you yeah. know. So yeah. it's they can, you no, know, again it, deny, deny, you, deny. You can point fingers about. Like, yeah, you can just right and right. then, but yeah, if you do, if you are one of those people that thinks forward and just be like, hey. I'll split this with you. Uh-huh. This then make the truck kind of thing. Uh-huh. So when like and again, that's you I'm know. I'm telling you, hey, this guy, hey, he's gone. He's hey, done more. He's hey, done his fair share of hey. heists. If right. you, if you like, think about it. Think about it. You know the people. Like if you go to Foot Locker, you Dude. knew the people that you. Hey, this guy. You know I'm up in here. You know had that on the side for me. This guy's done. They, it. And they're gonna do it because it's like yo, that's you, know, you, you, you know take those care. Death of auto missions where you gotta steal like the Brinks truck mm-hmm. and shit. You done that? Oh yeah, life. all the time. Straight all the time. All right. I, I I look at those Brinks trucks and okay. think about it. Like, could I do it? Could uh, I? Could yeah, I do it? Yeah. I mean, there's a documentary I saw the other day, and I was like, I think I can do it. Oh, the uh, the one where they she did in uh, Vegas. Yeah, it was in Vegas. Yeah. Where she worked for them? Yeah. 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 That was great. Yeah. yeah. That was that was a great one. That was cool. But but they it's was hotter too. Man. They was out of there. Just they was out of there. Stupid people. Yeah. Can't talk can't uh, you gotta you know, stop talking. True. Did you see the LAX one yet? Did the LAX one? Oh yeah, it's a whole series. They have like they it's uh two episodes per story. Oh uh, the LAX one was what story was that again? They, uh, it's the guy that steals uh, a few million dollars from the LAX, uh, or LAX, uh, like, uh, warehouse on the tarmac. Oh, and it's just out there, right? Yeah. 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 Which is, yeah. Cr- like, is under, yeah. like, yeah. just, you just got it's 10 pallet, million just yeah, sitting on pallets with an open, yeah. yeah, no, and no just, guns, just, just you know, up, yeah. yeah. Man, it was, was so easy good. to like. It was so easy to be grimy back in the early two thousands and nineties. Like you could just drive into LAX. You know, cell phones. <laughs> That's so weird. Uh, but yeah. So um, what were we talking about? Fuck FedEx. There you go. Um, yeah. So yeah, man. So like I said, yeah, yeah. I'm sure people do do that. Um, unfortunately, and people will probably continue yeah, to for be sure. down to work yeah. for them for that reason. Yeah. Um, I said a couple people, hey, we need drivers. <laughs> is it, is, did this really take a turn when Nike went from, they were USPS, right? Yeah. So they went, when they went from the postal service to FedEx, that's really when it skyrocketed, yeah. right? Okay, yeah. Because a lot, because um, they, because then at the same time you have, you can because when FedEx, you can, you have to scan them when they come out, when you come, take them out of the truck. You can just not scan them, okay. so now it just looks like it's either it can say out for delivery or whatever, like or sitting, however long it takes to update, and it's like that, and then yeah. it could be in the wind, or if you are like, cause like, cause what I've noticed is a lot of the smaller trucks, like the like the um the ones that just kind of they have certain houses that they got to hit for it, like it's specifically for certain houses and not okay. the whole entire street. Mm-hmm. I see it. I've seen when they talk about um, when they talk about uh, stealing. It's usually from those. Okay. So yeah. Chris taking notes for sure. I can't Chris see that. Chris about to far. jump on, huh? I can't see that far. This says recording, right? Yeah, it does. I don't know, bro. I don't really know. What am I looking for? Uh, right. It should be on your knee. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 yeah it's right on my knee. Um. But yeah. Um. So yeah. Uh. Sorry for everybody that hit lost up, a package. Hit us up if y'all want to work for FedEx. <laughs> you know. Um, I'm about to put an application. I need a second job. You know. Yeah. You I, know. Mean, I need. A, you I, know. Need, I need some uh, something to kill some time. There we go. Get some packages. Oh, you know? uh, okay. Uh, but so then, uh, finally, let's uh, let's get our. Uh, I wanted to get your thoughts on the AMM Air Jordan One. The how do you say? Ah ma. Um, ah ma I'm on Manier. Yeah, I hope I'm we're saying that right. Manier. But yeah, I uh, hope so too. Yeah, you know the A M M Air Jordan A- One. The A M M Air Jordan One. Yeah. A J One. Yeah. How um how do you have you seen them and everything? Yeah, I've seen them. How you feel on? Um, colorway wise, they're cool. Yeah. I like it. Uh, it gives me it, it uh fulfills a bit of like that that O G metallic pack. Yeah fills some of that void especially because there actually is a burgundy one mm-hmm. like a burgundy metallic um so i i like that okay um material wise i like that as well it looks, it looks good it looks good yeah my only 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 flaw that i don't like about this shoe 
is that because it's a because it's a, a like a material upper and not like a leather upper. Yeah. I do feel like. What is that material? Because it looks like uh, snake skin or alligator skin. The, the the swoosh does, right? Yeah. yeah. I think so. But everything else is like suede. Yeah. So I think because it's a... And except for the um the little... uh The, the collar? The collar, yeah. yeah. So I think because of that material, the build will make it prone to heel creasing. Okay. Um, what I mean by that is like it's not as stiff. Mm-hmm. So... You're, it'll naturally crease uh, more on the back and that's the only flaw that I can see happening and it's just gonna look ugly mm-hmm. from that um, I do I have a shoe I don't remember what shoe it is but it reminded me of that because of the ugliness yeah and that's literally the only thing I'm not looking forward to okay is, is it creasing like that but other than other than that I really like the shoe I like the quality I like the color yeah it looks really good um, I like that I obviously want the shoe because you know, I need to have both. Yeah, I'm definitely. I'm and you already know I'm definitely trying for you. So I can't have one without the other. Yeah. Um. But yeah, man. I, yeah. I, it, uh, it's supposed to release uh December, right? I think so. Yeah. So. Uh, I don't think it's better than the three. You don't? Uh-uh. No. Uh uh-uh. Yeah. And I would have thought you would have thought they were better than the three. And that's coming from like I look at the three and I'm like, bro, this is shoe of the year for a lot of people. Yeah. Still. So. I, even with that thought process, I do like the three better than the one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm I'm kind of on the same. Uh, on the same result. Yeah. Uh, we're. Oh, um, Chris I'm just at- got the same demoted email. From, <laughs> from <the DS. laughs> right. oh. oh my god. <laughs> um, yeah. So I was. Uh, so I uh, yeah I think the same thing. I like it. Um, it's uh, but it's not. It's like. Look, you no, know, it's not a shoe for me. Yeah. Um, but I do like the shoe. Um, yeah. I'm going to try for you. That's the only thing I can really say. Like that's a little bit how it's gonna be. Like I, like I, that. I, I would, and so like out of the two, like out of the three or the one, I like, like I'm kind of with you. I would want the three more, mm-hmm. but that's just because I like I prefer threes over ones anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, I would want the three. That's probably not gonna happen, but you know, that's it's all little. Yeah, it's a nice one. Yeah. So. But yeah, um, I just wanted to get your thoughts. Um, yeah, it's, the, I mean, it, it, it's it's shaping up to be a nice shoe, regardless. Yeah, you know? yeah. Um, so, uh, props to them because that's two for two. In two my for book. two, yeah, definitely. Uh, and I just really like the just the whole approach that they have. Mm. It's, it's everything seems to be meaningful and with intent. Uh, you know, their messages behind their shoes. I don't know what this one is yet. No, I don't. I'm sure we'll, we'll yeah. as we get to it, we'll know. And I'm sure it'll have some sort of like details whether it's the box or maybe on the sole yeah or on the inside there has yeah. to be some sort of detail on there because the threes is full of it yeah um so i'm sure the ones will get some 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 detail love as well i i, I wanted to um i wanted to get a quick could you guess do you want to guess what will be the next uh shoe that they do that they do if they do another one because I would say I would say like they already are, I'm pretty sure they're already projecting like yo this is this is a, a I'm not gonna home lie I think right now the 14 is surprisingly high on people's radar for yeah. a collab because of clot and because of I'm not gonna try I'm not gonna try it I I'm not I want to try her name but I don't want to try it Oh, uh, snap I'm not gonna do it okay. I'm not gonna do it. It's, we got it, but we gotta at least try because yeah, we can't do that to her. Okay. Because so we gotta say her name. Is it a a Layli May? A a lay a a lay. A Layli. We did th- we did this too like on yeah, an episode too. We always sound like if you guys wonder like I wish we had like I would record more of what we do. We're, we're literally show. gonna have a blooper episode. We literally shows. try like when there's like names like this, we'll literally try to like before pronounce hand. it before yeah. we start recording just yeah. to <laughs> make sure they always forget. I think it's um, a Lely. A Lely, yeah, Lely May, I, maybe? I've pronounced it other ways, and people have told me it's a Lely. Oh, yeah. But I also don't remember how she pronounces it when I watched her videos. Yeah. So, point being is, because of her class as <laughs> yeah. well, I think, like, the 14 is gaining some, some notoriety, uh, even though I think Klotz 14 is better than hers. Um... But it's just preference at that point because they're they're pretty similar. Alayali May. I thought it was that too, 
but I don't think it's that. Oh, she oh she has it pronounced. She has it on her bio as her um as a um okay, a Lely. A Lely May. Way easier than what we've all been trying to do. A Lely May. Yeah. So. Shout you out because you've been hitting them out the park. <laughs> oh, hey, yeah. every single one has been a hit. Yeah, she she got some gas for sure. A Lely. She got, some got gas. you, girl. Do you remember? Um, do you do you remember the 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 va- Vashti or Vashti twos? No. So I always thought like that chick was like the chick, and I'm surprised that it kind of fizzled out there, mm-hmm. in terms of like a female influencer. Yeah. Um. So I, I get like a lot of like what could have been with her yeah. as to what we're getting with a a, a Lady May. Yeah. Um, so I just want to throw that out there. Well, even then, like Nike, Nike and Jordan have been really good with a lot of the the um the the women collaborators they've been working with, and I really like that. Like, they have been. It seems like it's a focus over the last what, like I want to say, six well, months, maybe Jordan a year two, actually. That Jordan Two was from like oh nine, bro. Yeah. Like it's it was a really old a really old like an old attempt mm-hmm. attempt years ago. Kind yeah. Of thing. Um. At Bridging that gap, I felt. Mm-hmm. So I really thought like there, it, it was going to be more like tr- trend setting. Yeah, but it wasn't. And yeah, it's, I just like to shed light on that. Because no, yeah, of course. Quickly forget that, like you know, there, there have was, been yeah, yeah, there have been the, We've been the, here before. Yeah, exactly. And I think I think what I think that's also now in the you know the climate that we live in now you know highlighting that, and you know making sure that they get you know mm-hmm. the the spotlight that they deserve because again making great shoes by the way like it's not like it's you know some shit that's just like oh we're you know sympathy points no these are great fucking shoes like yeah. quality wise and everything um and so yeah uh, those 14s yeah those 14s are fucking I need some. man um but yeah 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 back to the ones right yeah, on the ones. yeah yeah I think the ones will hit yeah sure obviously it's the Jordan 1 um, but you don't know. Uh, oh, so, well, well, yeah. What do you think? What do you think, yeah, so do you think would be? Yeah, I think the could be high on someone's radar, um, just because of those two people or those two collaborations. Um, I, you know, the, the Jordan one, obviously, they already did. They just did it. Um, the Jordan four is high on the release radar period. Yeah. Uh, the Jordan two would be a curveball. Yeah. Um, you said but, Jordan four, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. I was I was either thinking Jordan four or a thirteen. Both. Oh man. I can just see them doing any shoe really. Yeah. Um, I'd like to get a really good Jordan eight. Um, I feel like the collaborated Jordan eights have been a little lackluster. Hey, tell them to collab with Drake. So I'm gonna get Drake in there. They already did. Yeah, but nah, get nah. Be like, hey yo, we get we need we need the OVO in there too. We need that OVO influence as well. No man, I don't want no more white and gold, bro. <laughs> Fuck out my face. All right. Yeah. You ain't you ain't catching the certified lower boy nah, uh, I'm Nikes. Getting, I'm getting it, bro. I'm getting it, but no. <laughs> but no. But no. <laughs> no man. Um. Yeah, those those models. I think. Yeah. Get. I mean, sh- shit. Could they do something outside that's not numbered? Who knows? Yes. Yeah. Give me a twenty, not oh well, not twenty. Well, yeah. Or uh, no, what's the uh, 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 cross? Now, uh, you're, now you're too high. In the, a twenty nine? Give me a twenty nine. It's fire. Don't get me wrong. Give me a twenty nine. Bro, everything after the twenty nine, twenty nine to thirty, what are you, thirty six? Yeah. I like all of them. Yeah. I really do. Fire. I really, really do. I have no problem with none of those shoes. What was the cross run that they just dropped? The Delta Two, yeah, or the MA Two. Oh yeah, yeah, if they do something like that. The MA Two, the Delta Two. That'd be nice. And there's another one, but yeah, those that'd be fire. nice. Those are some fire dailies, yeah. bro. I like that, that, that silhouette. Yeah, that'd be yeah. a nice little. That's a nice you know, one. Yeah. I mean, um, I, I would hope if they did one of those, I would hope that it's not just that one. Yeah. That it's a complimenting pair to like the numbered one. Could I would want to see something out the box? If talk about out the box, what if we can do a ten? I do need some tens in my life, bro. That'd be nice, a, a nice that's, little that's ten a, or a nine. That's a big canvas, though. Yeah. Like, you know, like I think like a collaborator, they don't really pick those shoes because mm. they're hard to manipulate. Oh yeah, of course. Because there's not, you know, yeah. It's a lot of open space, and like, 
like with the 10 at least you have more panels that yeah. you could possibly like play with if you wanted to like if you like absolutely wanted to and mm-hmm. did a layered thing like that i i don't we, we've never had a, a two that, uh, 10 that was layered like that huh that had like multiple ho- multiple uh, either colors on the yeah, the did, panels yeah yeah, yeah? yeah. uh when the uh, Lely May Jordan 1 came out, the Jordan 10 came out that was identical to it. But the Jordan 10 wasn't a Lely May's. It was a WNBA player. I forgot whose it was. Uh, my, well, Maya Moore, she's Jordan Brand, right? Yeah. So it might have been hers, but I'm not too sure. I think that's all. Is she the only Jordan Brand athlete, though? For I them? think so. From the WNBA? She has some fire play PEs. Yeah, the she Maya does. Moore 7s are she guys. Does. Uh, Jordan Tan. Yeah, it is. See the Maya Moore's. Oh sh- Oh yeah, yeah, I remember those. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Well, yeah. So like something like that, like that'd be you know cool to. Like if you if you really wanted to try, like you can do that. The nine may be a little bit harder because you know it's. It's what the just it's just the the midsole, and the upper, and it's like that kind of. And this we've seen them try to do shoot. that. Yeah, look at it. It's only one of them sold for seventy dollars, bro. In my size. Sheesh. I should. Uh, man, I'm hurt. But yeah. I used to think this was a Lady Mays Jordan Ten because it's identical to her mm. ones. But no, it, it has a. Uh, it's not it. No. Yeah, it's just pretty cool. I like get. Yeah. A ten would be dope, though. I like to see a Jordan Ten. Yeah. For sure. But yeah, so um. Yeah. So with that, um, anything left? Anything you want to let people know about? What up? Anything you want to let people know about? Oh, no, nah, man. You know, yeah. just just, just chilling. Yeah. Um, you know, we just now we just get to run unlaced 24-7 now with a higher concentration because we get to do that now. Yeah. Um, so that's really what's going on. It's just my whole mindset has been like, all about the brand and, yeah. and, the, and the pod. Um, and I haven't really gotten to enjoy it like this. Mm. Um, so it's, it's going to be, it's it, from here forward, it'll be interesting to see how it unfolds, but in a good way. Yeah, we rocking. What up, y'all? Yeah. Um, so with that, uh, we are going to wrap uh, episode 39. Again, uh, this is my host, Gabe. I am the co-host, Chris. Um if you guys would like to check out any future podcast episodes, you can check them out. Uh, if you want to listen to them, you can check them on all streaming platforms, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, or Anchor, all those top uh, streaming yeah. platforms, you can do that. If you would like to watch the podcast and see our beautiful faces, see what we're wearing, you know, sometimes we'll have shoes in to, you know, to show. Um, next episode, we I got to show my Prestos because those come in tomorrow, so I'm going to bring those next time. Okay, okay. Um, I haven't ch- copped anything in a hot minute. Yeah, so, so hopefully that I changes. Might, I got a couple of shoes on my list that I need to buy now before. Yeah. So I'm out. We might have some. We might have some. But yeah, if you guys want to see what we have um, and see them in person or see them and you know see what they are on videos like that. Yeah. Go to our YouTube Unlaced. Um, just type in Unlaced. We are right at the top. Check our podcast out. Check out all our past episodes, and you can subscribe to check out all future episodes. If you are watching now. Hit that subscribe button, please. That helps us. You know, please share the podcast. Let people know, like, hey, I got these people I watch that talk about sneakers. You should check them out. That help us. We we want to make friends. Introduce us to your friends and family and all that stuff. Your friends might even like you more, bro. Exactly. They'd be like, yo, not even might. They will like you more. You put us on. You know, putting them on. Like they're about to be like, bro, why don't you tell me sooner? Exactly. If you and if you're listening, yo, when you out, hey, yeah, I'm about to I'm about to throw on our last podcast while we driving. Oh, who, who, who these people? Yeah, hey, now we part of the road trip or the or the or the uh, or the sh- uh, the function. What y'all doing? Where y'all going? Where where, where the where the alcohol at? You know, where the shots? Mm-hmm. Let us know. You know, mm-hmm. put us on. Um, but yeah, so if you're listening, please rate this star- podcast five stars. If you guys are watching, please. Thumbs up that uh, this video. Please comment below. Let us know how do you um, how do you feel about the AMM AJ ones. <laughs> Had to make sure I said that right. Um, and let us know what you think about John Geiger and the whole loss, the trademark lawsuit with him and Nike. Where do you stand? Are you on Nike's side or are you on his side? Um, you know how do you feel? Do you not give a shit? Let us you know just talk to us. Let us know. Um, 
Trophy rooms. Trophy room, yeah. Let us know how do you feel about the trophy rooms. Do you think they're going to do Olympic uh, Olympic colorway? Do you, if the if they don't do Olympic colorway, what colorway do you want to see from a seven that he does on the trophy room? Mm-hmm. You know, talk to us. Please talk to us. We want to talk to you guys. We want to have a great time. Um, we enjoy doing this. Um, if you guys want to cop anything that we have dropped on Laced, on Laced.family, go you to the shop tab. Shock Drop it. Collection dropped uh, this past month. Make sure that you check it out. We have uh, we have something for everybody. You know, shirts, long sleeves. We have mm-hmm. shorts. We have hats. True. Check it out. Please, um, cop, you know, get fresh for the winter. It's, you know, it's getting a little nippy. It was a little, it was a little cloudy today. It was fucking yeah. dumb today. Yeah. This, weather, <laughs> this weather. It started bro, it was, raining it was on my way down here. when I left. Yeah, like, it started raining on my, down, when when my way down here. I was leaving work, I was, I was looking like a bozo yeah. with... A shirt on, you know. Hey, I looked outside and I was like, "Yo, let me throw on some sweats in the hoodie." Bro, I, uh, sweats just and in the case. Just, wore, in case like. just in case. Just in case. But yeah, check it out. We have long sleeves, so you know, be ready for the for the yerp, for the, the the little colder weather. Mm-hmm. The shock drop long sleeve. Make sure you check that out. Um, and with that, uh, we're, we're out. Where's shoes, please? Cut.